Hey, baby. I'm just grabbing some caffeine. Do you want me to grab you something, too? Sure, no problem. Oh, sorry, at the front of the line now. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Call you when I'm getting close. Love you. Hey, sorry. Can I get a large Earl Grey tea? Oh, and a blueberry muffin? Thanks. Whoa, oh, hey, sorry. Didn't see you there. Oh. Hi. Yeah, I'm in town for a family thing, and then headed back home in a week. Just came in to grab a tea. No, I didn't plan on talking to any of the old gang. I'm going to be leaving so soon, so I didn't really see a point. Actually, I have to run as soon as I get my drink. Good for you. Glad things are going well. I'm just not going to be able to see anybody while I'm here. You know, busy, busy, busy. Yeah, sure. Great that you got that promotion. Still just waiting on my tea so I can get on out of here. Family waiting, you know? Yeah. Can we not do this? I honestly just want to get my drink and get out of here. We don't have to do some song and dance about how it's been so long and what have you been up to when we know neither of us really want to know. I really don't want to be rude or make this a thing, so let's just pretend this didn't happen. Ah, there's my drink. I'm going to get it and we both go on our merry way. Goodbye. Okay, so me leaving was meant to be the end of that conversation. I don't know what following me to my car is going to accomplish, but I'm going to leave. We can just continue to forget the other exists. At least that's my plan. Ugh, please, just let me leave. We don't need to make this a whole scene with you blocking my car in the middle of a parking lot. We're both adults, right? We don't need to act like we're still 18 or something. Don't know where this is coming from? We haven't spoken a word to each other in, what, eight years? Do you think that was an accident? Yes, I moved away, and I expected that maybe my friend would try and keep in touch with me. What I didn't expect was radio silence the moment I was on the highway. Oh yes, you were suddenly totally busy the moment I wasn't around. The second I wasn't there to do things for you and be there for you whenever you needed me, you were busy. You know, I did try to get in touch. For those first few weeks after I left, I texted, called a few times, always went to voicemail. Nothing back. So you know what? I stopped trying and I started thinking. I started looking back on our years of friendship and I kept finding that whenever you called, I was there. I would drop everything and go to you. If you were sick, you got dumped, if you were having work troubles, I was always there. I would always be the one to make plans. I'd buy the tickets to events. If you got drunk, I'd always drive you home and make sure you were okay and take care of you because you were my friend. And that's what friends do for each other. Except you never invited me to things. You didn't call to ask how I was doing. You didn't congratulate me when I had good news. Hell, when I, when I told you I was moving away for a great new job, you just said how you would miss me taking you to brunch every Sunday. You tried to play it as a joke, but it, it felt like you were serious. So I don't know what I was really expecting when I wasn't around anymore to be your shoulder to cry on or your chauffeur. It's been eight years. And we run into each other at a coffee shop and you have the gall to act like no time has passed and start telling me all the amazing things happening to you. Just, just, just save it for someone else. I'm done. I hope you treat people better now than you treated me back then. I hope maybe you've learned some things about yourself and 
how you are, or, or maybe now hearing this, you'll start. I hope you never experience someone taking you for granted and only being there when it suits them. I don't, I don't have the time or energy to waste on people who don't treat me the way I deserve. I never had a chance to tell you how I really felt before, and now I think it's best we just part ways. I don't, I don't wish you ill. I don't want to reconnect. I would just like to move on. Can we please just do that? Thank you. You know, it's, it's fine to just let people go. Not every relationship is forever or should be forever. Sometimes people go separate ways and it's for the best. Yeah. Have a good life. I mean that, but please just let me go. Hey, sorry we got cut off. You'll never guess what I ran into. Do you remember me telling you about that old friend that I drove around and used to do a ton of favors for before I moved? Yeah, them. Well, I managed to actually stand up for myself this time. <laughs> I think you'd be proud of me, baby. I mean, I know I'm definitely proud of myself, feeling a lot better now about the past and how it all went. I think I can now call that chapter of my life finally closed. <laughs> On to the future. Yep. There's nothing I want more. I'll see you soon. And yes, I got you a snack as requested. <laughs> Well, for you, it's not a chore. It's making my partner happy. Just like you do for me. <laughs>